that Adams will show Malay as, uh, uh, you know, uh, visitor, or, or of course, on his word, well as cast his vote. Let's take that uh, report uh, from Iyamo. <laughs> I'm very impressed with what I've seen here. And the uh, way we are have one or two reports we got the police we have responded. So I think uh, so far so good. Uh, police have provided security and you can see contrary to the speculations that people are going to be fighting. The press of police, you can see the people are happy. Nobody is intimidating anybody, and that is what we expected. That will put enemies of democracy to shame. I just pray that the way the police have provided security here, it is the same thing around the state. But in this area, from the report I've got so far, not just here, there is good police presence. And um, the only downside, as I said, is INEC. Because there are three things you need for a credible election. The peaceful atmosphere, it prevails, it's here. Happy people, not aggressive, to celebrate democracy. We can see them smiling, even with babies and so on. We see even elderly people, that one touched me. You know, they're very old men. They are told their card is not working, they should, it's not functioning, the smart card, they have their PBC. They just sit down there, they are not fighting. Why are there no PBC? Why are there no this? Believing that INEC will rectify it and that they will be able to go. You see old women, older than my mother, they are seated there on the ground. Ideally, these elderly people should be given the priority to vote because of their age. But we are told their machine is not functioning at all. And it's not even here, they're taking it away. And INEC has not replaced. Even at that, they are not shouting, they are just trusting that INEC will not fail them. I just pray that INEC does its part. We have security. We have a Tudasi people, we have peaceful youth, even we old men, we are ready to vote. So I just pray that I need to and I want to thank the police for providing security. Because I have always argued when people come to ask me or the ambassadors and so on about my view about the election, I said, once there is presence of police and security, these criminals are cowards, those who want to disrupt. But if there is no police presence, then the criminals take over and begin to intimidate the people. Because they target this unit that you have had them boasting that I will lose my unit. And that's why I'm very suspicious why 
for the first time in the candidate in my unit or one of the units is not working. But I will take, I will call any people to find out why this should happen here. I have the same report in uh, Anegote and a few other places where the candidate is not working or is rejecting a lot of legitimate, genuine um, uh, guys. So I thank the police for their work. But let me also advise the police, you know, from my past experiences, the enemies of democracy, which they call talks, they will start to operate when it comes to police time. I then grab the people after who have voted and make sure that counting is difficult or even after counting as you are moving them to the police headquarters, they can then block you. So I trust that you are ready to take care of all of that. But to be honest, the police is done and give a crap. And I pray that it goes like this everywhere. I have not had anything report at all about the police, and that's a huge difference. So, officers and men, I'm beautiful. Thank you. Thank you.